Oregon upsets Ohio State. This is my reaction to this game and all the other night games that we got in week seven. This game absolutely lived up to the hype that we got in this first colossal Big Ten matchup between these two programs. The storyline of this game is Ohio State's skill key making players did what they needed to do to win the game, but Will Howard absolutely sold. Rushing the ball with 10 seconds left is inexcusable for Ohio State. Just throw the ball away. For a veteran quarterback, that is really bad decision making. He should have much better awareness. But Oregon absolutely shut down the haters after that tough start to the season, and they are now 6-0, fully deserving of being the number two team in the country. In a game that was much closer than what people anticipated, Tennessee squeaks out an overtime victory against Florida. Florida did look good coming off that bye against UCF, and they held up their own for almost the entire game against Tennessee. Ultimately, though, this game is just another game in the long list of games under Billy Napier that they almost won. In a trap game for Iowa State, they pull out a victory at West Virginia 28-16. I have been telling you guys since the offseason that Iowa State is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the Big 12. The race for the Big 12 Conference Championship is firmly between Iowa State and BYU, and until something unforeseen happens, it is those two teams at the top of the conference. And I waited to finish recording this video until we saw the end of this game. Ole Miss loses in overtime against LA this was a must-win game for both of these teams, and the LSU Tigers come out victorious. This was such a big win for Brian Kelly and these Tigers, and I can't wait to see how they do in the rest of their fairly easy SEC schedule the rest of the year. As for Ole Miss, what a disappointing finish. However, I don't know if they can still go to the playoffs, even if they win out the rest of the year. I will have my updated Top 25 posted tomorrow morning, so make sure you guys come back Sunday morning.